This episode is brought to you by Tim Hortons, located at 3760 Bull de Source and 305 Brunswick Street in Point Claire, Quebec. Tim Hortons, always fresh, toujours frais. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Ange Collects YouTube channel. I'm Ange and I collect stuff. If you're new to the channel, guys, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share out this video with all your collector friends. We are currently at 898 subscribers, guys, out of the 1,000 that we need to not only get monetized, guys, but also do our next giveaway. So guys, please subscribe, and we're gonna get there very, very quickly. All right, today we are doing the August card market watch, guys, for the beginning of August. Uh, so there's a lot of movement going on that I gotta tell you guys, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, so starting with Pokemon, we have Lugia from Secret Wonders is up over 500%, guys to the $30 mark, guys. Lugia is a very common uh, Pokemon that is collectible, so that is the reason why every single Lugia seems to be going up. All right, guys, next off we have Yu-Gi-Oh! Prime Evil Planet Perlerino is up, which is the field spell card for the tier limits uh, archetype that just came out from the set Power of the Elements. And it's no surprise that the card is already up over 300%, guys, to the $80 to $90 mark. And uh, it's obviously a staple at three, guys. I could see this card go up even more depending on how good tier limits are, guys, all right? Next, NFL, obviously the GOAT, Tom Brady, his base card, base card, guys, from 2002, which is his third year card, is up over 300% to the $20 mark. That is much expected, guys, because everything of Tom Brady uh, seems to go up. All right, guys, soccer. We have Kai Havertz from Germany, the young star, guys, which we're going to see probably in the World Cup. Uh, his rated rookie is up as well. 200% increase to $35, guys. On to the NHL, guys. Ilya Sorokin is most likely going to be the franchise goaltender for the New York Islanders for years to come, and it is reflecting in his price. His Young Guns canvas is up 20% to the $35 range, guys. And if Ilya Sorokin is the goalie of the future, his card could go up much, much more, guys. Uh, On to the NBA, we have Trey Murphy the third's prison rookie is up over 115% to the $25 mark. Uh, that's another great player from the New Orleans Pelicans, guys. On to Funko now, Yu-Gi-Oh! Funko actually, Maximilian Pegasus, the character uh, Funko Pop 716, is up 60% to the $30 range, guys. If I were you, I would pick up Maximilian Pegasus, Yugi, and all the main characters of Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. Keep it, buy it, put it on the shelf, and hope for the future, guys, because obviously they are the main characters of the show, right? All right, non-sport, guys, we have Luke Skywalker's 1977 Blue Series number one is up over 111% to the $60 range, guys. That is no surprise. It seems to be a very early card of Luke Skywalker. And we're, when we're talking non-sports, guys, Star Wars is one of the biggest ones. All right, guys, now off to the keep an eye out card. Uh, for today, guys, I'm just gonna give you guys a um, warning, actually, uh, to not buy Funko Pops on eBay. Now, the reason is, guys, there has been a rash, a big rash, actually, of scams going on on eBay uh, where they're selling fake Pop Funko Pops, popular Funko Pops, uh, be it. So please be careful. If you are gonna buy Funko Pops on eBay, please buy from a reputable seller, guys, because there's a lot of fakes going around. All right, guys, so that is it for our card market watch for uh, the beginning of August. I'm Ange, and I'm out of here, guys. You have a great week. Take care. Ciao.